to Timpani Beats. Hello everyone, I'm still greeting you from Webby Media and I'm still Mr. Protocol the Talk. <laughs> hey, my people, the story where I carry come today. <laughs> hey, well, the thing that make me laugh, oh, but they don't know more. The thing not supposed to make me laugh. What are they talk about? Now the man will go buy pampas for supermarket for a picking. Okay, what is going to happen? As they carry the pampas given, come tell them the price where they sell the pampas. <laughs> now the man went to. <laughs> okay. Plenty of people they laugh. Plenty of people they cry. Why? Because say the high cost of things for markets. The thing they overwhelming. Okay, make me talk this matter well. I carry better person come to studio today. Madam, I beg. Tell them your name. Hi viewers. I'm success in the Jamaica. Thank you very much, Mr. Potico, for having me today. Okay, thank you, my sister. You don't hear the story we are talking now about the man. So I want to ask you just a few questions. Okay, okay one question. What do you think, say, Nai cost this man fit for this kind of situation? Um, okay. Um, in my own take, for a man to have got to get a pampas for his little baby, and then he fainted when they told him the price of it, it could be that the man has calculated, you know, that he doesn't have enough fund, he doesn't have enough money for it. Okay. It could be that he has calculated how things are rising in the market. Okay. I mean, he has. It could be that he might not be feeling fine, okay. or it could be that he has calculated how many months mm -hmm. or how many years he's gonna, be, you know, get buy something like that and the continuous increase. It could be that the price. It, it could be the shock of the price he got, maybe probably from the previous price he bought yes, it. and yes. then coming to that time they they, they, they gave him the price again and mm. the increase yes, yes, could be what made him faint okay. he could be check, talking about I mean, um, calculating his income yes. a lot of things might be going through his mind yeah, yes. yes that drained his energy that made him to faint yes. yes because the continuous rise in things in the market I mean the inflation it caused somebody to faint like that mm. many people are, are always surprised like when they tell you price of things and begin to ask like uh, is it really this thing that I bought three hundred dollars yesterday? Yes. That you're telling me is now one thousand dollars today? Yes. And people, so many people. So I think for the man to faint after, I mean, according to his story, Mr. Protocol, mm. he didn't faint when um, he went there immediately. Yes. He didn't faint when the auntie they sold him the price, the price of, of it. The, yes. Okay, that was when he fainted. fainted yeah. So definitely, it could be that the the the, the, the I mean, the surprise is the shock. From the continual rise of things in the market, yeah, that's what made him to shit, to to you know faint. And oh my God, is that's really bad. That's really bad. I really feel for the man. Oh, I really feel for the man. Even me, the thing touch me well, well. Like they tell you, okay, has it been now? As you don't see how it be now. So what is your advice? What till you they tell family people, man and woman, wait there for family, wait till they born. What till be your advice to them concerning this increase and rise in the cost of things in the market? Um, my advice to families out there mm -hmm. is you you have to, especially for those who are still giving birth, okay. you have to give birth to the blood you know you can cut for. Okay. Yes. You have to do family planning that's the, the next option and also try and enroll your your children on skills you know um, and especially your children who are both 18 years okay. yes don't leave them at home because a lot of families out there a lot of parents they do offer pampered children that they have nothing to offer in the family okay. you know little I'm, I'm not saying that you should just start forcing your child to go and get money no but i'm talking let them be productive it can actually help you know in the family planning due to the continuous um, increase in things in the market mm. and the next thing the, 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 the first point that i'm giving here is give birth to the um, children you know you can cut up for it, it because a lot of family you want to have seven children you want to have eight you want to have six <laughs> if it's three that you know your income calculate your income yes you know calculate your daily expenditures you know you, you you're going to buy this you know you're going to buy food stuff 
you know you're going to pay for this for that mm. so calculate your income and then know the amount of children you want to give birth to yes. because you can't be earning um, for a, a salary that you know it can actually cater for just two children mm. and train them very well and you want to give birth to four five six mm. so if, if you give birth to four five six this kind of thing will, will, will occur now you will faint now you will faint <laughs> A lot of this, okay, um, Mr. Protocol, you know why I really um, like this, your, your gist today, mm-hmm. um, and this is your story, is that this is not the first time this kind of thing is occurring. Happiness. Yeah, I once saw again that um, somebody told me that um, a, a, a man, they told a man the, the cause of the, the hospital bill. Okay. Yeah, the amount of hospital bill when the wife gave birth. Mm-hmm. And the words, unfortunately, the, 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 the wife gave birth through cesarean section. Really? Okay. Yeah, it was through cesarean section. So mm-hmm. when they told the man the bill, he fainted in the hospital as well. Cut. So this is not the first time they did this. And happen. yeah, and the report said that that's the, the fifth um, um, child. <coughs> you, you get that's the fifth. It, I mean, you know that you couldn't because I'm, I'm, I'm just like. Um, um, give, um, explaining this in a general term, mm. it's not that you he, he planned that the wife is going to give birth through cesarean section. But mm. okay, even at that, even if it's not through cesarean sex, uh, section, mm. a normal woman who gave birth normally, mm. they will still charge you in the Just, hospital. Yeah, of course. So the fainting is like is something really crazy. It's because you don't have the money, you don't even hope for anything, you you don't even know where to go, you don't have the balance in your accounts. You, you don't even you don't have any hope you don't even have any set access to sell and get the money mm. that's why the energy join immediately and they faint when they get the uh, the, 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 the bills yes. you get so if you know you can you don't have income that will sustain you for all those things mm. why give it back to fifth child yes. when you already have the research said that uh, in the report mm. the eyewitness said that the the, 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 the guy and the family mm. already have four kids two boys and two Yes. So somebody already has two boys and two girls. What are you looking for? for Give you birth to fifth child. <laughs> so what we're saying is that you give birth to children you know that you can cater for. So that this kind of things that are calling every day will not be occurring all the time. Thank you very much, Mr. Oh, thank you so much, Indy Damaka. Oh now down here I'm now. Nothing way I go add for this matter. If you the bomb picking, I beg. Bomb the one when you go so far into train. Not if you don't bomb for. You go say, make me bomb five. Okay, now you go go supermarket, go the faith for us. Or you go go hospital, they go tell you bill, you go faith. If you faint, now laugh, I go laugh. Oh. Now laugh, I go still laugh. Eh? I bet this will still be that for this country. I bet maybe they pray. One day this will be that. I bet just greet our people, maybe they go a bet. Thank you very much. Please, as you watch, share, comment, and don't forget to drop your own experiences anywhere, daily life experiences, everything, anything you gather, your news, anything, just let us know, drop it on the comment section, thank you very much. Okay, when I don't hear them now, if you not drop pants, now you savvy, if I catch you, I will break your head, now still Mr. Protocol, they talk, and I'm going to be me there with day. I think for now, we go to go, later, we will see you, thank you.